LL37, a peptide your immune system has been using quietly while influencers argue about supplements. It's not a muscle gainer or a pre-workout. It's a naturally occurring antimicrobial peptide, and it's been doing its job long before biohacking was cool. LL37 was identified in the late 1990s when scientists were studying how the body defends itself before antibodies even show up. They found that certain immune cells were producing short peptides that could punch holes in bacteria like tiny AR15. LL37 turned out to be the only human catholicidin peptide, which basically makes it a one of one. The name isn't poetic. LL refers to two leucine amino acids at the start of the chain, and 37 is how many amino acids long it is. Scientists are terrible at branding, but excellent at function. What makes LL37 interesting is that it doesn't just kill bacteria. It disrupts bacterial membranes, neutralizes viruses, messes with fungi, and still finds time to talk to your immune system about inflammation and tissue repair. Researchers quickly realized LL37 wasn't only active during infections, it shows up in the skin, lungs, gut, and even wound sites. That led to studies on why people with low LL37 levels tend to have chronic infections or delayed recovery. In lab settings, LL37 showed the ability to promote angiogenesis, support tissue regeneration, and influence inflammatory signaling. While LL37 is indeed powerful, the context matters. Too little and the immune system underperforms. Too much and inflammation can get spicy. Biology loves balance and hates shortcuts, so be careful with your research. LL37 is your body's built-in antimicrobial security system. It doesn't wait for permission, and it doesn't ask Reddit for advice. It shows up, handles the problem, and moves on. This has been LL37 in 120 seconds. If you liked this breakdown, make sure to click that like button, subscribe, and tell me what peptide you want to see next.